Hey everyone, welcome back to The Silver Lining here on YouTube or welcome if you're new. I'm Sarah and today I am taking part again in Tiny Tidy Tuesday along with a group of like-minded women who are also tidying up different spaces in their homes. Let's get started. Today I'm starting on my stove top for a quick tiny tidy and then moving into the inside of my oven and then onto my bathtub, which I know sounds a little bit unconventional to do all of those things at the same time, but stay tuned, it all works out. So what I'm doing first is spraying the surfaces with one of my favorite Jordan Essentials cleaners. It's an all natural cleaner, non-toxic. We actually don't carry it anymore, but I am hoping to see it in the future because I love it for multi-surface, multi-purpose cleaner. Plus it's food safe. So I really like cleaning things like my oven and my countertop with it. I love having a gas oven and stovetop, but if you have one as well, then you know that it is kind of a pain to get it clean. Uh, before I had this appliance with the black top, I had one that was white and the burners and the grates were gray and it was much harder to clean. At least with this one, some of the stains that end up staying on there are masked a little bit better because of the black surface. If you're interested in seeing the video where I have my appliances updated in my kitchen, I will link it above and at the end of this video so you can take a look at that if you want. So now I'm moving into the inside of my oven and I'm going to pull the trays out and get those washed and this is where you'll see the bathtub cleaning enter into this tiny tiny. So I really want to get the grates cleaned and it's really hard to do in my sink because it's not really deep enough and it's also hard to keep these in the dishwasher and allow them to get as clean as they need to be. So I'm going to bring them into the bathtub and fill the bathtub and put a little bit of Dawn dish soap inside and let them soak because then the grates will be easier to um, scrub clean in just a little bit. And as they are soaking in the bathtub, I am gonna move back in and wipe out the inside of my oven, which if you recall, I did spray the inside before I started cleaning the top. So the key to at least me getting my oven and stuff clean is to kind of let things soak because then you don't have to work quite as hard. One thing I like about this oven is that it is actually a steam self cleaning oven. <laughs> so there's a little dip in the bottom that I'm wiping out right now and you can actually put a little bit of water in there and then it will steam itself so then it makes it easy to wipe out but there are still like dried crumbs and stuff from baking pizzas or what have you so that does still need to be wiped out. Thank you. 
It feels good to have this all clean and shining back up. It has all the dried food all cleaned up off the bottom. And now I'm just gonna head back into the bathroom where I have the grates soaking in the tub and I'm gonna scrub those up. And the dried food that is stuck on the grates comes off way easier now that they've been soaking. So like I said, it's nice to work a little bit smarter, not harder. And even though it is a little bit less conventional to use your bathtub for stuff like this, it works so well. And so I'm just going to continue to get these all cleaned up and then I will clean out the bathtub so that it is ready for regular use. Once I'm all finished with this, then I will drain the tub and I'll just get my shower cleaner that I use, which is just vinegar, and water, and Dawn dish soap. And I like to spray that down. It really helps with any buildup, especially in the bathtub and the shower. So I'll spray that down and kind of scrub it out and rinse it. And it's just a quick clean of the bathtub just so <laughs> it doesn't feel like uh, we just did our dishes in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tiny tidy today. I feel like it was a little bit more of a deep clean, but it was an easy way to get the inside of the stove cleaned out, which I've been putting off and putting off. So it became sort of a tiny tidy and it turned into also me cleaning my bathtub. So I hope that it got you motivated or inspired to clean something in your house that maybe you've been putting off. Check out the description box below for some more inspiration and motivation from the other ladies in the Tiny Tidy playlist. And thank you so much to my friend Sunday Dawn for putting together this playlist in collaboration every week. It's so fun to participate and I am so thankful. If you enjoyed this and it offered you some motivation or inspiration to tidy something up around your home, let me know in the comments below what space that is. If you're interested in a little bit more motivation, check out the playlist listed down below for the entire playlist for this week's Tiny Tidy Weeks In. And the Tiny Tidy team 
has put together several different playlists of lots and lots of motivation. So if this is something that you're interested in, check out the playlists. You can for sure find Sunday Dawn's channel. She is the creator and the mastermind of this playlist. She has brought us all together to create the Tiny Tidy team. You can find those links on her channel and check out some of her other amazing content video. Thanks so much for being here today. I hope that you stick around. Take a click around my channel and if you like what you see, be sure and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss another video. All the other things that I have to offer and I will see you next time.